because there are still a number of issues that need to be addressed in order to smooth the process of deploying infrastructure, basically. I'm happy to say that we have crafted something that really has been accepted by a number of very large companies present here tonight, today, this morning, rather. That is something that we commit to work with government and that government has committed to work with us. So the document that we're going to sign this morning is uh, called Industry Stakeholder Principles of Excellence. Uh, these are the main CEOs in the industry uh, putting their hand up saying, we're committing to this, we want our suppliers, our vendors, we want our contractors, our employees, everybody to see that we are standing up for this and we are abiding by this. So there's a couple of things that I'll touch on. One is uh, they will strive to achieve digital inclusion and they will find ways of collaborating to achieve that. They agree to um, ongoing investment and thereby contributing to job creation. They agree to the development of SMMEs, startups and entrepreneurs. They agree to ongoing commitment to innovation and R&D. They also agree to contributing to the African continent as a whole. They agree to ethics in doing business. They agree to cooperation and collaboration. They agree to commitment to the next generation of mobile technology. And they also agree, very importantly, to all the environmental considerations, um, respecting each other's assets, how we do business, and how we take care of our own infrastructure and that of our competitors, um, as well as the cities and the environments within which we deploy this infrastructure. We met earlier with the CEOs, trying to understand, not that we don't do, but finding ways of concretizing the collaboration between the industry and government. And in the engagements, I made reference to the fact that as government, ours is to create an enabling environment through legislation and regulation. But if we do not understand what's happening out there, then we won't be able to create that enabling environment. And the reason it's important for us to understand what is there is because we don't get to regulate ourselves or develop policies for ourselves as government. We do that in the interest of the country that the majority has given authority over and expressed confidence in. Which is why it's important then to say, well, we are here in power, we're occupying these positions, but what does it mean for us to make sure that we make a difference to say, just like it happened uh, um, before 2008, where the sector was able to make a meaningful contribution towards the GDP of the country. And now we all agree that we have dropped, hence we're also seeing the drop in the GDP of the entire country. What is it that we need to do thereof as the country in the industry to make sure that we change the current status quo? We all agree that our industry is an enabler to everything that's happening. Without leveraging on the 5G that we spoke about, the opportunities that it brings, and the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, we will not be able to turn around the economic status of the country which is why we need all of you to make your inputs, not only for yourselves, but for the development of the country so that you can continue being on business. As we talk about making sure that we connect the unconnected, it's not something that we're gonna do over five years. We would love to have everybody having access in five years. But if we have not created an environment that enables you to say, we're willing to go to those villages, we're willing to go to these areas, the government just do A, B, C, D so that we meet you halfway, so that you too can make your profit, it's not gonna work. So we really need to try to find each other at all times, even when it's not nice, even when we get to fight, but as we fight, we should not lose focus of that that matters.